Hello, hello, and welcome to B6 Stop Motion. My name is Best Shot, and today I'm going to show you how to animate on a round or curved path in Dragon Fame. We're also going to be adding ease in and ease out to our movement. If you're not familiar with these terms, I have another video explaining them, and I will put the link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. For this video, I'm going to be using um, a bunch of buttons in different sizes. If you want to follow along with me, you, you can use coins or M&Ms or literally anything that you have around you would work. This is a very common stop motion um, project. It would be a good idea to practice this if you're interested. Okay, let's start animating. I have the project set to 12 frames per second and in order to create a path I'm going to go to the drawing layers and uh, choose the circle and draw a circle on my screen if you hold the shift key it will give you an even circle all right now um, we would want to basically know how to give it the ease in and ease out. You can start animating and figure it out or also you can use the increment editor which is what I'm going to use for this project. And I will be taking 20 pictures for the um, movement. So I'm going to just change 0 to 20 and drag and frame gives me an even spacing between each of these anchor points and that is not what I want so let's change that to something that more looks like it has more of these points at the bottom kind of something like that now we can start animating all right so we got to start from somewhere and I'm going to start from the middle at the bottom which is our slowest part or actually, let me start from here. I'm aligning the middle of the button with the middle of our sign. And actually, let me change the opacity so it's a little less distracting. Okay, now we can take our first shot. Same thing to the next. I'm going to be doing the same thing uh, for a while. And when I start adding the other buttons to it, I will come back and explain that. As you can see, I'm not exactly following these lines. I'm placing it where it feels right, when it looks better. And also I thought that middle point is actually making it a little too slow. So I have that frame hidden as well. Now I'm going to add um, some um, tails to the end of um, this button. So I'm going to add like a tiny little one here. Okay, so we're back at where we started. Let's take a look at it. Let me put it on loop. There we go. Here is how you can create ease in and ease out on a path, on a round path. And you can also add the little tails at the end of it. 
If you followed along or use this video as inspiration, I would love to see your animations. So feel free to tag me on Instagram with your stop motion projects. I would really love to see what you are creating. And um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I hope I see you in the next one.